As you said, it, it's really important that this whole ecosystem be meshed together. So we're really focused on, focusing on interoperability and interconnection, uh, both in terms of the, really, the good work that is happening on the 911 side as well as for the emergency responders with the public safety broadband network. How is that going to be interconnected? You know, how is the photograph of whatever it is going to go from the citizen through 911 and on to the emergency responders. Figuring that out is really important and trying to make sure that all the right people are talking to each other is, is incredibly important to make sure that happens. We're also working with our federal partners because there are hundreds of 911 call centers that are operated by the Department of Defense and the Park Service. And they are really challenged in terms of upgrading their technology to be on the same platform as everyone else. And if they're not, they're not going to be able to communicate with, with the civilian world. So we're trying to provide them the resources they need to make the business case to upgrade their systems as well. Yeah, I would imagine that the uh, sort of diversity of this uh, 911 coverage all over the country and tribal areas and on the border and in the parklands and, and you raise some good points there. And also the emergence of all this different technology that people want to use to be able to, uh, to, to, to you know, to, uh, I guess, sort of perform a 911 call, mm -hmm. whether it's mobile or next thing you know, it'll be on some device that we're not even thinking about. Right. It's really incredible. Yeah, I think, but once, you know, everyone is on the same platform, mm -hmm. is everyone's using the same infrastructure, a lot of things become possible. But then a lot more questions are raised about exactly how is that interconnection going to work? And of course, who are the right people that need to be talking to each other to make sure that those things happen? Sure, 